Oh, fuck. I had so many fucking issues with my microphone and I've just gone back to using my old one. I got this lapel mic and it was working fine, but now, now it's not working. But why do um why do YouTubers start videos with what what's going on YouTube or what, what's what's going on like what's like why why do people start videos like that? It's not like you're immediately gonna turn around and be like oh hey Mike how are you? You're probably just sitting in bed consuming this content that took me hours to make. Put on my Instagram story a couple of days ago, and I have posted quite a few photos of these. These phone, like these phone see-through shots, you can do it with a phone. I've seen people do it with a mirror as well, but it really works better with a phone. I just think it's something really easy and simple to make, and it looks complicated and makes you look like a Photoshop genius. I'm gonna jump into Photoshop right now, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So let's full screen this bitch. The fuck do I full screen? Ooh, F11, maybe function, tab, no. Control tab? No. How the fuck do I full screen this shit? Full screen in Photoshop. Using full screen mode in Photoshop is useful if you want to make your image editing area larger. I don't give a this fuck, mate. Just show me how to full screen it. Mode once you have finished editing. First of all, let's make our photo. Oh, screen mode. Full screen mode. And full screen mode panels are hidden. Oh, by pressing F. F for fuck's sake, mate. <laughs> to start this editing tutorial, you are going to need to take two photos. You're going to need to take a photo of your background and then a photo of you holding the phone. Now, why we're taking two photos is because you have one photo here and that is the image that's going to go into your phone. And then obviously the image of the phone, of you holding the phone itself. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over to your background image. We're going to press Control A, Control C, go over to your other photo and Control V. So what we just did there is copy and paste it into the photo that we're going to be editing, right? Uh, I'm going to downsize it. So I just press Control T or transform, or if that's way too complicated for you, you can just come down into Oh wait, how the fuck do I even do this? Edit, transform, scale. See, I knew that. <laughs> Easy. And then we're gonna scale the image down. Make sure you're holding down shift. So it's gonna keep the aspect ratio of it because if we don't hold down shift, it's gonna go all wonky. We don't want that. Bring this right down, scale right down, right down, right down, till about the phone screen size, which is about that. Control J and we're gonna make that a new layer, right? We're gonna hide the bottom layer that we just, well, that the original layer or whatever. We're going to zoom right in. We're going to have our pen tool. So if you come over here, select pen tool. Yes. And, um, and we're going to start by slowly going around the image. That's done. We're going to right click after doing that. Don't do anything else. You right click, make selection, uh, feather one. That's going to create a little feathering radius. Zoom that shit out. And now we've got this little ant trail over our selection. And uh, yeah, pretty much what you can do is you're just gonna hit delete. Just, just fuck it off pretty much, yeah. It's gonna elongate it a bit more. So bring that in, bring that in, and just stretch that down a bit. What you're gonna do now, this is the most important part, okay? This is probably the, the hardest part about this edit is what I'm about to show you right now. So this layer here, you're gonna grab it and you're gonna put it below this layer here. Ready? Boom. Look at that. That's it done. That's that's literally, that's it. That's, there's not much else to this edit really. I'm just gonna bring it across onto into Lightroom and just smack an edit over it, eh? So make sure your photo selected, hit develop. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down to four by five. This is the Instagram crop ratio if you didn't know, and that is the Instagram story ratio. So if you don't know, now you know. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to exposure. I'm gonna boost that quite generously, probably bring it up a stop. Take a bit of contrast out and I'm gonna drop the temperature quite a bit because I want this to match the blue thing. We're gonna mess around with the highlights here. I want, um, I want it to look like there's a lot of sun coming through the top of the image because that's really how I remember it. We're gonna bring our shadows up to know what we're working with and this looks horrible right now. Also gonna bring our whites up. If I hold down alt, obviously way we've, uh, we've uh, Fuck the top of the image pretty good right there, mate. So we're gonna bring those down. So it's not so fucked. Probably don't even need any clarity. I might even drop the clarity a little bit because we are working in a nature setting. When you're shooting nature, you don't really need much clarity at all. In fact, I'd probably do the opposite. So that's why I've gone with the negative fiber there. 
vibrance. I like to go from negative 100 to 100 sometimes just to see how badly I can fuck up the image. Like watch what happens when I put both 100. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we none of that. That but that looks so desaturated now. Oh my god. Okay, so we're going to we're going to shove quite a bit of vibrance in there. I'm going to come down to my tone curve here and I'm going to press the put like a little dot in the middle and I'm going to bring that up to where this line is here. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna bring a bit of fade up in the image as well to get that nice Instagram look and then bring it across a bit. We're gonna do a bit with the reds, bring those over across there. Same with the blues. So we're gonna come over to our radial filter and I'm gonna create a selection over my hand bit here and the surrounding. We're gonna put a bit of warmth back in this. This is gonna put a bit of warmth into my hand as well. Now we can start to see what we're working with here. Uh, one thing that's really annoying the fuck out of me is this red, this redness, right? I don't really like how, like, it's gone like sort of a pinky, purpley red. Like, it, it needs to be a, a red red. We can come down to magentas, and obviously the magenta's affecting a lot there, so we're gonna bring those right across so it's, it's a proper red. That's a real red now. We're gonna bring the luminance up, bring a bit of detail out of it, put a bit of brightness up, because obviously that's affecting what's in my hand as well. And um, I, I'd say the purples are doing quite a bit in this image as well. We want to keep a bit of the purples because it's gonna it's gonna play with um, what's going on with my hand quite a bit as well. We don't want that to look like butchered meat. Now, um, this bottom part of the image is quite green, and I don't really like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come to my brush tool, press K, or you can come up to here and hit the brush. And uh, we're gonna open up the size of it a bit higher, put a bit more feathering in it, and we're just gonna brush around the bottom bit here. All right, we're pretty close to having the final image now. I've just cropped it in a bit more. I kind of did really like the crop on it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to my hand and right now it looks like I've got a disease on it somewhere here because we fuck with the color so much. So brush over the diseased part of my hand here. And uh, we're just gonna put a bit of uh, brightness back into it or, or a bit of uh, warmth back into it. And that's pretty much fixed it. Now I'm gonna export it, chuck it on my phone and now it's ready to go onto Instagram. So that is the end of today's editing tutorial and I just wanted to say, I really appreciate anyone that is supporting me doing this whole YouTube thing. It was a bit of a step out of my comfort zone and it's not always easy talking face to face with the camera. I do really wanna take this time right now to appreciate every single one of you that has supported me up until today in time and will continue to do so throughout the future of me making these videos for you guys. With that all said and done, I will see you guys next time.